Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat in the poor chimney corner, and a crutch without an owner, carefully preserved. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. Oh. No, kind spirit, say he will be spared. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, none other of my race will find him here. What then? If he be like to die, he had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Man, if man you be in heart, not adamant, forbear that wicked can't until you have discovered what the surplus is and where it is. Will you decide what men shall live, what men shall die? What if in the sight of heaven you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child? O oh God, to hear the insect on the leaf pronouncing on the too much light among his hungry brothers in the dust. Mr. Scrooge, I'll give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. Founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon, and I'd hope he'd have good appetite for it. My dear, the children, Christmas Day. I'll drink his health for your sake and the day's, not for his. Merry Christmas to you. And a happy new year. He'll be very merry and very happy, I have no doubt. Merry, merry Christmas, Christmas to Mr. Scrooge. Scrooge. I have a situation of mine for Master Peter. If he gets it, he'll have five and six pence weekly. <laughs> Peter's going to be a man of business. Business is a hard thing at the milliners. I mean to lie abed tomorrow morning for a good long rest. Oh, I saw a countess and a lord a few days ago. You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> the lord was much about as tall as Peter. Let's have a song. Tiny Tim, would you like to sing us a song? I would. Well, sing one then. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Oh. 